internet, this is Christina, the Amputee OT. In this video, I'm going to show you how a BOA socket works. Recently, I got a new BOA socket and I want to show it to you. Okay. This is a BOA socket. It's got a button here string and panels and it's used to assist with volume fluctuations in your residual limb. So how it works, as you can see, it's got a knob here and then if you see these little bumps, these are actually tubes that this string here goes through. You go all the way around, there's a panel on the back, and then there's a loop right here. So there's two panels. Right now it's all the way loose. To tighten it, you press the button and then turn it, and it tightens one millimeter at a time. You can see the panel getting tighter. Now the panel pushes in. It also gets tighter at the back. from inside the socket. Your prosthetist is able to design a BOA socket with any number of panels wherever he or she wants. So there could be panels here, here, at the back, it doesn't really matter. You can even have more than one BOA in your socket. So you might have two knobs, maybe one for the front and one for the back. BOA, by the way, the reason it's called a BOA is because it tightens down like a BOA constrictor. So, in order to put it on, turn on the vacuum system to suck my leg down in there. Since I can use this as a handle. Tighten it up. Now it's on. Hooray! So I have the BOA socket system, but that is actually separate from the elevated vacuum system. Obviously, you can do both together and it works just fine. It can actually work with almost any type of suspension system. I also want to show you the difference in shape of these two sockets. This isn't necessarily related to having a BOA socket. It's just my prosthetist decided to try a different type of socket with a different shape. And it is actually way more comfortable than my first socket. All right, so here is the difference between the two sockets. So you can see that this socket is very round shaped and this socket is more rectangular shaped. And that is a different way of containing the volume of my residual limb tissue. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye.